Hey, good evening to you. Welcome into Air Academy High School, the K-Dome, as we get set for Air Academy and Cheyenne Mountain Boys Lacrosse. I'm Matt Pauley, Brian German, alongside our entire 20TV uh, crew as we uh, bring you a 20TV sports presentation for the final time in this school year, and it's going to be a good one. Obviously, two rival teams, and Brian, two teams that are having pretty good seasons. Pretty good seasons. Uh, Cheyenne Mountain Indians, a little bit better season at this point, but uh, you never know. When, when Air Academy plays at home, they always play well. Let's uh, Before we go any further, do you want to let you know if you want to order a copy of this broadcast, you can do so by emailing us, 20tv at asd20.org, or by calling us at 719-234-1780. You can get a DVD or a Blu-ray copy. Uh, as far as our social media outlets, many places you can connect with us, Facebook, Twitter, we've got uh, the uh, clips that we put up on YouTube as well, and you can always find out about everything we're doing here at 20TV by going to the website. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what we're expecting today, and first off, the uh, starters for uh, Air Academy are there on your screen, and when you look at Air Academy, a couple individuals to really look at, starting with Mitchell Miller, who has 33 goals this season, Jake Thornley at uh, 25 goals, we'll talk more about those individuals coming up uh, later on in the program. As far as what Air Academy has uh, done so far this season, you see they've won three of their last four after quite a long losing streak, but right now 2-1 and one in league play, and this is a, uh, a big-time matchup for them as they do continue on through their league. As far as the keys to the game go, as given to us by their head coach, Ron Garcia, they want to stay strong in possession. They need to win face-offs. That goes back to possession, and then when they are on defense, they want to be in good position. Yep, got to stay good defensively because Cheyenne Mountain is a team that will just attack the goal, and uh, Air Academy definitely wants to stay in good position so that they can't make cuts and get closer to the goal with the ball. From Cheyenne Mountain's perspective, they've had a little bit more uh, firepower this year from a goal standpoint. It starts with Sam Sheridan, who scored 29 goals. Drew Lazar has had uh, Lazar, excuse me, has had 25 goals, while uh, Casey Rothstein, uh, 23 goals this year. They come in with a record at 8-4. and four. They're also 2-1 and one in league play, as you take a look at uh, their schedule and what they've been able to do. Uh, recently they come in on a five game winning streak. Nice wins recently against both St. Mary's, uh, Pueblo West and uh, Pine Creek as well. As far as their keys to the game as told to us by Mike Page, their head coach. A lot of the same sort of stuff. Ball control, that goes back to uh, patience. Solid defense the one different thing. They want to be patient on offense. They know they can score but they want to get good scoring opportunities. Yeah, what Mike Page said about being patient on offense was the longer they have the ball, the better chance they have at getting a good shot. The more you move the ball around, keep looking for a better shot, that's how you're going to get goals. When you look at these two teams and match them up head-to-head, -head, there's a lot of numbers that are similar, some not so much, especially look at that assist number, Cheyenne Mountain getting a good number, more amount of uh, assists per contest. Shots are about the same. Save percentage, a little bit better for Cheyenne Mountain, and uh, Air Academy's given up a few more goals per contest. It is Cheyenne Mountain here at Air Academy as we take a look at these uh, standings and uh, Ponderosa right now now really one of the best teams in the state running away with it uh, but Cheyenne Mountain and Air Academy both at two and one so this is kind of that swing game to see who can move into second place uh, in uh, Pikes Peak lacrosse again we are getting set for Air Academy playing host to Cheyenne Mountain right here on 20 TV we'll have all of it coming up in just a moment as I said right here on 20 TV one part excellent one part inspiration one part preparation or outstanding Welcome back into the K Dome at Air Academy High School as we are getting set for Cheyenne Mountain and Air Academy. And Brian, these uh, these two teams, these two programs, this has been a great rivalry in Colorado Springs and really the, the state of Colorado for for a long time. Many many years. Uh, I guess you could go back to the early '80s. These teams played a lot uh, in uh, high school hockey. Back in the day, both of these teams, it seemed like one or the other would win the state championship. And uh, I know there's no love lost between these two schools. And uh, we're, just, we're just hoping that they keep good sportsmanship today. Both of these teams want to get the victory for the right reason. I believe uh, this is the third time these two schools have played each other in the last week in various sports. Uh, yesterday, baseball went up against each other. Cheyenne Mountain won that game. Um, and then... 
or excuse me, Air Academy won uh, yesterday, and then uh, Cheyenne Mountain won in girls soccer just about uh, a week, week and a half ago. So uh, here at the end of the season, with uh, with the league matchups going and everything, as the two teams uh, do shake hands. So that's the first part of the good sportsmanship we expect to see today. But uh, that is uh, obviously these two schools are seeing a lot of each other right now. They certainly are. Mikey Smith and Nate Robledo in goal for each of these respective teams. Smith, of course, for the Cadets. Robledo for the Cheyenne Mountain Indians. We are just about ready to go. Matt. And we'll have the face-off here right at uh, midfield. The officials give some uh, last-second words to the two individuals. And we are just about set to get things rolling tonight in an all-important matchup because both these teams to come in with a 2-1 and one record in Pikes Peak Lacrosse and off the face-off still fight for control. It will be uh, it was controlled for a moment by Air Academy, but Cheyenne Mountain gets it trying to uh, cross midfield. They get across midfield, bringing it up on the right side. There's a lot of space. Here's a shot, and there is a goal, an early goal from, uh, excuse me, an early goal from Mitch Reddish as Cheyenne Mountain takes the early one nothing lead. Reddish isn't a, really a guy that you look at the stats and see a lot of goals on the season, but uh, nobody really came up to step up and defend him. What he does have, though, he's that lawn stick midfielder, and uh, he gets a lot of ground balls. He's the, he, he, he's the second leading ground ball getter on this uh, Cheyenne Mountain team. He's got 67. Make that his 68th. Picked it up. Just took it in for the goal. Reddish, a junior now off the faceoff. Cheyenne Mountain had it for just a moment, but Air Academy gets it. Coming back in the other direction. Across midfield with it. This is Luke Lagrasa. Now he continues to control. Going to pass over to the right side as Air Academy tries to set up what they want to do. Comes back behind the net. Now back over to the left side. To the top with it. This is Austin Scott. Scott passes back over the right side. They're going to go to the corner. We're seeing some good patience right now from Air Academy. Kind of a, if it was basketball, this would almost look like the four corners right now, the way they're just passing from around and around. But they get it back behind the net, looking for a good pass inside. Now, quickly a shot. I don't know how uh, Mitch Miller was able to get that shot off, but a good save made by the goaltender, Nate Rebeldo. And Another attempt that's going to go out of bounds, and it's going to stay with Air Academy. Air Academy pretty much trying to set up. Here's a good look at that uh, shot by Mitchell Miller, and a nice block by Robledo in goal. Air Academy still has it. Here's a possible opportunity. Now pushed down to the ground. No whistle. The ball is loose, and Robledo is able to pick that up and get it back to his teammates. And here come the Indians moving from... Left to right as we see it and as you see it on your screen. The pass comes down. A little bit of room now being pushed out to the right side. The pass is going to come back behind. They work again on the left side. Seems like Air Academy's given Cheyenne Mountain maybe a little bit more room than what we saw the other time, the last time down, as far as how Cheyenne Mountain defends Air Academy. Here's a play behind the net trying to circle around with it at Sheridan. Pass comes back to the top. This is Casey Rothstein, good player, trying to get around. He's going to try to get a shot off. He does, and that is a – Wow. Just it barely stayed out of the net. In fact, for Air Academy, I don't think their goaltender, Mikey Smith, even knew where that was. And that was a, a close one there for Mikey. It hit the side of the post and stayed out. Here comes Cheyenne Mountain again. A shot and another good save. This time the shot came out of uh, from Army Pfeffer, who has 10 goals this season. Another good save, but Cheyenne Mountain keeps possession of it, and they'll get going once again. This is what Mike Page was talking about before the game. They want to just keep possession, move it around well, find good shots, not just any shot. Here's another shot. It's bounced in and another save made by Mikey Smith as he's had to face a lot of good shots in the early going. Ball comes out to midfield. It's going to be uh, possessed by Air Academy. Coming down the right side, it's Mitch Gould. Now a pass comes inside. It's stolen away. Cheyenne mounted. Here come the Indians once again. This is Casey Rostein. Rostein has it. He's going to get a shot off and he scores. Rostein scoring his 24th goal of the year, and it's 2-0 Cheyenne Mountain. That all really started at the defensive end where the interception was made, and then they got the ball to Rothstein, and he was a man on a mission, just came right down the middle, and really no KDAT defender got in his way, and when you don't get in his way, he's just going to keep going as far as he can and get a good shot. So 2-0 our score, 8.53 to go here in this first quarter. Face off right at midfield. Ball comes loose. Air Academy's got an opportunity. And 
Now the Cadets find themselves down 2-0. A little bit more pressure for them to uh, get on the board. With it right side, Jake Thornley. Thornley, 25 goals. He's second on the team in that number. Comes back out to the top. This is Jansen. Jansen looking to pass back to the top and to Thornley. Thornley has it. Passes right side. Working it back behind the net. Now back over to the left side. This is Miller. Miller's always a threat. Quick pass comes inside. A good pass and a good attempt by Cox, but unable to get it right on goal. The sophomore Chapman Cox unable to get the shot on goal. Air Academy does keep possession of it. Miller passes back over to the left side. They work it behind. Now they're going to bring it back to the top. 2-0 Cheyenne Mountain leads. Quick pass left side. This is Jansen with it. Jansen passes left side to Konath. Konath gets it right back after he passed it. Now nice. he's going to put a shot. What a good look as Austin Konath comes up with the goal. The freshman and Air Academy's on the board. It's 2-1. Good job there. Great pass there from Mitchell Miller behind the goal. Finds Konath cutting in front and uh, once again, the defense just not ready fast enough for Konath as he faked faked the pass out front and then came back with a shot. Good move by Konath. Yeah, really good uh, move by him as he gets on the board and has made it now a 2-1 to one game. And Air Academy needed that. You know, Cheyenne Mountain had kind of uh, dominated many parts of this, and Konath is able to get the goal to make it 2-1. to one. That's his fifth goal this season. Konath appearing in his 11th game. He's got five goals, one assist, including the goal today. A 444 shooting percentage, and now looks like there's an issue on the field, maybe with the net as... They're bringing somebody from the Air Academy side of things to come take a look at the net. The goal. Looks to me like there might be a hole. I don't know if they're stitching it up. They've got a ball. The official is looking at it intently, and uh, unfortunately they're between us and the problem with the net. Yeah, folks can see it on our, uh, on our monitor. They'll continue to work on it. Oh, there, maybe something got loose. Maybe one of the strands came down off. I don't know. Well, while they fix this, while they do their best uh, sewing impersonation, I guess we will take a break. Two to one, Cheyenne Mountain leads Air Academy in the first quarter. We're back in a moment on 20 TV. <laughs> Two to one is our score. Seven minutes and 58 seconds left here in quarter number one. Air Academy and Cheyenne Mountain, Matt Pauley, Brian German, our entire 20 TV crew coming your way from the K-Dome on the campus of Air Academy High School. Cheyenne Mountain wins the faceoff. They try to quickly get into their offense, but the ball was forgotten and now a whistle. And on the foul, it's going to stay with Cheyenne Mountain. Indians have it. Pass comes out to the left side. Goal line extended. Coming back to the top. Cheyenne Mountain sets up their offense. This is Kathy Rosting. Rosting has 20 assists coming in the game. Here's a quick shot, a good idea, but it goes wide left. That was uh, from Mitchell Page, who has 22 goals this year. Cheyenne Mountain continues to possess it. They're just to the left of the net. Now it comes back up to the top as they try to reset things. Cheyenne Mountain does have some individuals coming and flashing out in front of the net, and that's really what they're waiting for. This is Wheeler on the left side. Now they go back down to the corner. Pass comes back behind. Ball forgotten by Rothstein. He goes and picks it back up. Here's a quick pass inside and a good idea. His shot and it was blocked uh, in front. In fact, that may have hit one of his own guys. I'm not sure. Either way, it's deflected and it goes out of bounds. It does stay with Cheyenne Mountain. Indians lead this by a score of 12-1. to 2-1. Excuse me. Cheyenne Mountain has it. Now the pass comes right out in front. It's not possessed, and it's going to end up going out of bounds. And 
That goes back to Air Academy. That's a good call by the official. There was a foot race going on. and Good job by Mikey Smith to stay ahead of the uh, Indian player there. Make sure that the Cadets got possession on that one. Six. There is a one and two on the board, so there I can is. understand how you thought Thank 12. You. Thank you. Just in case. I saw that too. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Air Academy is going to bring it up as this is uh, La Grassa and Good contact made by Cheyenne Mountain, but Grass is able to keep it. The pass could not be held on to, and it's going to be picked up on the defensive end by Parker Samuelson. Samuelson brings it up on the left sideline across midfield. He will back it up, and he'll pass off to one of his teammates. This is Rothstein, who basically works as kind of the point guard. Rothstein, he may try to get off his own wow. shot, and a good save made by Mikey Smith. Air Academy's got it, and they're going to try to get it down the field. Cadets. Just get it back to Mikey Smith. That's a good decision, and Smith's going to walk it out as far as he can and then look to pass. Yeah, the defensive pressure by the Indians right now at midfield really keeping Air Academy in their own end. Of course, they threw it away right there. Yeah, pass goes out of bounds, so that's going to go back over to uh, Cheyenne Mountain. They've got it on the left side. This is Sheridan. Sheridan looking to pass, gets it right to uh, right beside the net and back over to Page. Page has it. Now the pass comes inside. Ball could not be possessed. It's going to go out of bounds, and it's going to stay with Cheyenne Mount. Good look at Army Pfeffer. Pass comes back behind once again to Page. Page trying to circle around. Now he's looking to pass. He does so up to the top in case. Ryan Case has it for Cheyenne Mountain. Now back over to the left side. Here's a shot. Good save made by Smith, and the ball's loose in front. He's able to pick it up, and he quickly sends it down. The pass was too far, though. Cheyenne Mountain gets it, but a whistle and a violation against Cheyenne Mountain, it looks like, and Air Academy's going to be able to keep possession of it. I really like the job that Mikey Smith did here. He stops it, gets possession of the ball, and then I, I didn't mind that outlet pass, just sending it deep, just trying to get past because right now the Indians have too much defense at midfield. Cadets find themselves down by one. It's two to one, and they've got an opportunity in their offense to possibly tie this thing up from the right side. Now it comes back behind. Cadets continuing to work it. It comes out to the right side. Quick pass comes inside, a good pass, an attempted shot from Konath, who is the only Air Academy goal of the day, but he couldn't get much on that. Good defense, and here comes Cheyenne Mountain very quickly down. Parker Samuelson with it. Samuelson is going to pass back out to the top, and Sam Sheridan. Sheridan's got it for Cheyenne Mountain. Sheridan trying to get around a couple defenders. Now he gets bonked nice pretty good job. from the backside, and actually it's going to get into the stick as a nice job by Chapman Cox to force that turnover, and he gets it very quickly into the Air Academy offense, and here's a shot, and it just goes wide right. No, they're going to say goal. They are going to say goal as Mitch Page, excuse me, is coming up with it. Mitch Miller, another goal for uh, Air Academy, making it 2-2. How about the effort by Mitchell Miller on this? Watch him here with the fake. G just drives towards wow. the goal and somehow gets that by Nate Robledo, and we're tied. Mitch Miller with the goal. For Miller, he comes up with his 34th goal this season. He is averaging three goals a contest. Well, there's one. Yep. And we're even. Two apiece, 4.15 to go. And now another opportunity. A shot. It's going to go wide left. That was Konath again with that opportunity. Air Academy keeps possession. That's Miller fighting for it. Now Cheyenne Mountain comes away with it, and they're going to have to try to get out of their defensive zone. Working on the left side, the pass is deflected out of bounds. It goes out of bounds, and they're going to say that goes to uh, Cheyenne Mountain. Mitch Reddish is just so good with those ground balls. Number 12 for Cheyenne Mountain does a great job with that long stick as a defender, as a defender getting his uh, – his net on the ball and picking it up. Pass could not be controlled, so it comes back to Air Academy as they're looking to take their first potential lead of the game. We're even at two apiece. Air Academy works it over to the left side. That's Scott with it. Now back to the top and Jansen. Jansen passes the top, goes back to the right side. Here's a quick shot. It goes wide left. Goes out of bounds, and Air Academy is going to keep possession. The Cadets being real liberal with the uh, substitutions as well. Lots of different players getting out there, keeping their legs fresh. 2-2 two -two is our score. We've got 324 left here in the first quarter. They work it. 
from the top. That's Morley with it. Excuse me, that's uh, Schweitzer with it for Air Academy. Comes out to the corner intended for Thornley. Thornley's got it. Back to the top. Now Jansen. Jansen passes left side to Konath. Konath already has one goal today. Back towards the top to Scott. They work it over to the right side and Schweitzer. Now they come back behind the net with it. 2-2. Trying to circle around. The pass comes up to the top. Ball is loose, but Air Academy is able to keep possession of it with Henry Scott. Scott passes back over the right side. Holding it. Now the long pass comes left side to Jansen. Jansen can't possess it. It's loose. Cheyenne Mountain gets it. Here come the Indians as they come down the field. This is Keith Rostin really with a head of steam. He may go all the way. Now he's got pass left side. Oh. The pass comes over. It was just out of the reach of Sam Sherrod and a good idea, but I'm a little surprised Rostin didn't just shoot himself. Yeah, Rostin, but he did have um, <clears throat> Sheridan wide open on the left-hand side there, and I, th I just think he hurried to the pass a little bit too much. was a little low for Sheridan to handle. 2.25 to go first quarter, even at two apiece. Here's a quick pass inside and a shot. The shot goes wide left. Good idea from Travis Work, who's got 11 goals this season for the Cadets. Goes out of bounds, but it's going to stay with Air Academy. We are at the K-Dome. It is Air Academy and Cheyenne Mountain. Big matchup in Pikes Peak Lacrosse. Here's a quick shot, and it's going to go wide right. Another good idea. This time it was Miller coming around for Air Academy. Miller has already scored one goal today. And the score, 2-2 two -two with 2-10 two left. Pass comes up to the top. Like you said, we keep seeing when every time down, it seems like there's different people in there, and that's a good way to keep everybody fresh, especially if you have a deep roster the way Air Academy does. Pass is going to come to the top, and oh, man. Luke LaGrasse could not get that shot off. If he would have gotten solid contact, he would have had a chance. Nice. Now from the left side, that's a goal as Mitch Miller scores for the second time today. What a great job by Chapman Cox, though. Chapman Cox makes this play happen. Watch him here as he gets the ground ball, comes towards and finds Miller on the left-hand side, keeps it high. Good job by Miller just keeping it high in the net above Robledo as he just puts it home. Second goal of the day for Mitchell Miller. So Miller now has two of those three that he averages, and – Air Academy has taken the lead. They've scored the last three goals. Think how when this game got started, Cheyenne Mountain was dominating, and Air Academy, to their credit, has really come back and responded well. And Air Academy has it once again as they look to add to their lead before this first quarter comes to an end. A minute 35 to go. Try to set up their offense. Now they work it over to the left side. Speaking of working it over, that was Work who had it. Back to Miller, back behind the net. Miller. Passes it over to the right side, and it's going to come back up towards the top. This is Scott with it. Scott passes back left side. Miller, Miller attacking the net. He's looking to get a shot off. He tries to bounce it in, and a good save made by Rebeldo, Robledo, excuse me, the keeper for Cheyenne Mountain. And here come the Indians with 60 seconds to go in this first quarter, trying to possibly even this thing up. It's 3-2 in favor of Air Academy. The pass comes left side. Taking their time, they're going to bring it all the way back up to the top. Now the pass comes right side. Rothstein will get it back. Excuse me. That is Jack Bell who gets it back just in for Cheyenne Mountain. Bell has it. Bell being pushed from behind. Comes back out to the left side, Page. They're just trying to come inside, but Air Academy's doing a really good job defensively. Now 23 seconds left in this first quarter. Attacking the net and bringing it back around. That's Sheridan. Sheridan's looking to pass down to 12 seconds left. They've got to hurry if they want to get one last opportunity off. Ball's loose. It's on the ground, and Air Academy comes up with it. They're going to send it all the way down the field. Three seconds left. Two seconds left, and this is how the first quarter is going to come to an end. It is three to 3-2 in favor of Air Academy. A pretty good, well-played first quarter here today at the K-Dome. Certainly was. The Cadets uh, really came back after Cheyenne scored the first two goals of this game. The Cadets kind of took control, played a little, lot better defense, able to get to some ground balls and make some plays happen. Mitchell Miller with two goals. 3-2 is our score. Cadets lead. We'll take a break. Be back in a moment on 20 TV. One part excellent. One part inspiration. One part preparation. One part outstanding Take 
Welcome back into the KDOM. Air Academy leads Cheyenne Mountain 3 2. Matt Polly, Brian German. We are just about set for second quarter action, so much so that we are officially underway. Shadows are starting to uh, lurk over the field, as you can see, as those can play a role as we continue on. Ball's loose. Cheyenne Mountain gets it. Now going from right to left as we see it. It comes back up to the top. Back right side. Pass comes back behind. Cheyenne Mountain trying to start the second quarter the way they started the first quarter with a lot of offense. Now going to the net. A good idea by Cheyenne Mountain. Sam Sheridan, but he was not able to get all the way there. Sheridan has it back. Now he's going to pass all the way up to the top as this is Rothstein with it. Rothstein looking to shoot. He does. It goes wide right. It's going to go out of bounds, and it's going to stay back with Cheyenne Mountain. Pass comes back over to the left side. Now pass comes inside. The ball is loose. Uh, Mikey Smith tried to come out and grab it. He couldn't get possession of it, and a whistle, I thought, for a moment. Nope. They're going to continue to let him play and fight for possession over there on the sideline. Good action right now as these two teams really try to come up with the possession, and it's Air Academy who comes up with it. Now they lose it once again. Uh, man goes down for the Cadets. He's going to stay down for a moment. Here comes Cheyenne Mountain. Ball's loose. The Air Academy player looks to be a little bit banged up as he tries to get set. I believe that is uh, Keaton Daly who got pushed with no whistle and play comes back over to the left side. It's going to be brought up to the top. This is Rothstein again. Avoids one. Now the ball's nice loose. Yeah, really good defense right there at the top by Air Academy Spencer Dotter. But Cheyenne Mountain still has it. Pass was a little bit too high. It's going to go back behind the net. Cheyenne Mountain still able to control. Pass comes back to the top and Rothstein. Things are getting a little bit more physical out here right now, as you would expect to happen. Here's a shot from the top. Good save by Mikey Smith. Ball is loose, oh. and the putback is there as Cheyenne Mountain is able to tie it up. Sam Sheridan with the goal. Sam Sheridan, Johnny on the spot right there as he is right up against it for the rebound. And he puts it home, and we've got a tie ball game. Good job by Sheridan there, keeping his eye on the ball. Mickey Smith kind of lost it a little bit after it hit his stick, and uh, Sheridan was right there to put it home. Yeah, if you're Smith, you really don't want to give up those uh, those rebounds. But uh, you do, and Giant Mountain's able to take advantage of it. Back even, so that ends a run of three consecutive. And now a... Foul called against Cheyenne Mountain on the faceoff, so Air Academy's just going to get it. Let's see if they can oh, take advantage of it. And shot. There it is, a shot right from the top and a goal. Luke LaGrasa with just his seventh goal of the season comes running in. He was bound <laughs> and determined, and what a shot from well outside. You know, he shoots. He doesn't shoot much. He's only got 12 shots on goal this year. Over half of them have gone in. That's, that's pretty, pretty good. good. That's real good. <laughs> so LaGrasa gets the goal. And Air Academy, just like that, retakes the lead. I think that's important which after Cheyenne Mountain ties it up. And now they're going to try to attack the net once again. Uh, they take a moment to keep possession of it. Comes back right side. This is Thornley with it. And they lose yeah, it. Or, timeout, I believe. Yeah, timeout. And they're going to come over and talk to their respective coaches for just a moment so we will go ahead and uh, take ourselves a break it is four to three the cadets lead cheyenne mountain we're back in a moment on 20 tv Four three is our score. Air Academy leads with nine minutes and forty three seconds to go. We've had some interesting developments here over the course of the last few moments. Uh, stoppage was call called by the officials because there was a stick that evidently was uh, not the correct measurement. They measured it during the course of the break. A flag was thrown on Cheyenne Mountain, so there's going to be a penalty against the Indians. It looks like Sa Sam Sheridan is going to serve the penalty over there on the side. So Sheridan's out, and Air Academy a man up. Cadets have it. 
and they'll just patiently work their offense and try to get the best possible shot when they do have the man up. Comes inside. Here's a shot attempt. It goes wide left. We've seen that a lot from Mitch Miller trying to kind of worm his way through to the net and then get a good look and a good angle. It was a good idea. 920 left. Here comes the pass over the left side. It was deflected by a Cheyenne Mountain player intended for Miller. Miller pushed down from behind. No whistle. He's on the – now oh, yeah. there's a flag. It's going to come up and let's see who they call it on. They are going to call it on, I believe, Cheyenne Mountain for that push. Yeah, they're calling it on Mitch Reddish. And uh, now Cheyenne's in real trouble here. Although a KDEP player, let's see, is they are they going Although over? Although Reddish, no, Reddish is going over as well. So now you're, now you're two down at, as the Indians, and and for an extended amount of time too. This is a great opportunity for the KDEPs. They'll really be able to get a good look, see what Cheyenne Mountain could do, trying to. Kill this thing off. Air Academy wants to make sure to get a good shot. you got to have clean passes, though. You don't want to do that when you're two men up. You're taking valuable time off the clock. It comes back to the top. Quick pass left side. Here's a nice. shot, and that is a goal. Air Academy gets it as the goal comes from Travis Work, his 12th goal this season. Nice job playing a little give and go there with August Scott. From work to Scott, back to work, and work knew exactly what to do with it. Gets it by Roblito there as he gets his first goal of the game. And now Air Academy has a two-goal lead, just like Cheyenne had way early in the first. Our score sits right now at 5-3. to three. There's 8.47 to go. The faceoff is won by Cheyenne Mountain. And very quickly, Rothstein brings it down. He's going to put a shot on goal and a good uh, save made by Smith. Smith sends it back out towards midfield. Air Academy is going to uh, pick it up and get very quickly into their offensive set. They're still a man up right now after that last goal came on the two-man up situation. Air Academy's got it, and they're going to take their time again trying to set things up. Cadets continue to substitute relatively liberally. Pass comes out to the left side. Now back goal line extended for Air Academy. This is Miller with it. Miller back at the top. This is Konath. He scored a goal. He scores nice. another goal. A shot from the right side. He bounces it in, and the Cadets add to their lead. I think the kid that's really had to do this, you know, got this opportunity. They had they had a two two man up situation. This they're still up a man. Just a great shot there by Konath there going going uh, short side against the goalie, and he gets that one to go in. Nice shot, Mr. Konath, second if, goal of the day. If the Cadets can score the next goal, you really start to get the feeling that they're kind of running away with it. Not that Cheyenne Mountain can't come back because we certainly know they can, but that next goal potentially to get up four would be huge for Air Academy. And now a penalty is going to be called against Air Academy, giving it to Cheyenne Mountain. That really hurts in the man-up position. Rothstein has it for the Indians. He veers over to the right side trying to find an opening. If nothing else, you just want to take some time off the clock right here. Rothstein is well aware of that. He continues to work back behind the net. Rothstein being marked back there by Air Academy's Luke Barrick. Now coming around. Ball's back behind the net. This time for Cheyenne Mountain. It's Sheridan with it. Sheridan's going to pass off back over the left side and Page. Page being defended by Self. Page comes all the way back behind the net, loses the ball. He gets it back, continues to work with it, looking to pass. Comes all the way out to the left sideline. He's going to try to work to the top. Good defense right there by Self, not allowing him to get very far. Now the pass comes all the way to the top. And for Cheyenne Mountain, this is Wild with it. Wild passes over to the right side. As Pfeffer has it. Pfeffer passes back to the left side. Page with it. Page backing up. Passes back left side as Cheyenne Mountain just continues to possess it, and now the man-up situation is over, and they can try to get into their offense. That was a great job uh, by folks like Rothstein and uh, Pfeffer just to, to go out there and continue to keep possession of it and not let the Cadets get it back in a man-up situation. Now let's see if Cheyenne Mountain is able to answer one of these goals that's been scored by Air Academy. Indians have it with it on the left side for 
The Indians at Sheridan. Sheridan looking to try to attack in. There's not a lot going on. Now he's going to pass back up to the top, and this is Rothstein. Rothstein's probably the best handler as he works it back over the left side. He's going to get to the goal line extended and back behind the net. We've got six minutes left to go here in the first half. Score 6-3 in favor of Air Academy. Coming around uh, as Rothstein tried to get the shot off, he did not get the angle. It ends up going all the way across the field and back out of bounds, but Cheyenne Mountain's going to keep possession of it. Pass comes back to the top, and Pfeffer now inside it to two individuals, and uh, it's going to end up being Wild to put off the shot. Rothstein and Wild both went for that pass. If either one of them gets it cleanly, they've probably got a pretty good opportunity. Now the Cadets very quickly into their offense. On the right side, a pass comes over to the left side, and the ball is loose. It's going to go out of bounds, but another flag is on the field, and we'll see who the penalty is going against. Looks like it's going against the Cadets, and Cheyenne Mountain's going to go in the man-up situation for the first time today. It's called way back in the defensive zone. I'm not sure what happened. I wouldn't really see the uh, the call there, but uh, it was called on Travis Jansen at midfield. 6-3. And... Oh, it's going to be called against Cheyenne Mount, I believe, in the man-up situation. Cadets have it right now. Pass comes. So my mistake was called on Kurt Wild, I believe, then. Pass comes back up to the top for the Cadets. That's Scott with it. Scott passes back left side. This is Schweitzer. She's going to be work at it. Now back behind, here's a good move and unable to get a shot off Miller. There's a whistle. They get it back. Here's another shot opportunity. That was Thornley who had it, but Cadets will continue to possess it. 6-3 is our score. Five minutes left on the left side. Pass comes up to the top, and the shot, wow. what a save made. Ball is loose, and the goalkeeper is able to get to it. That's uh, Rebeldo who gets to it, sends it down, but the ball is going to be saved by the Cadets back on the ground, and Cheyenne Mountain gets it back. Indians will try to move it forward from uh, right to left for Cheyenne Mountain. This is Samuelson with it. Samuelson going all the way, and he wow. shoots and scores. Samuelson. Parker Samuelson, who's uh, more of a ground ball guy, yeah. like a lot of these uh, these Indians are. And he just wanted to take matters into his own into his own hands there. Down three goals. He's saying, guys, come on, let's get some offense. If I've got to do it myself, I will. That, I believe, was Samuelson's first goal of the year. It was. He has two assists, but that's his first goal. And it comes at a good time. I, I've been pretty impressed by the way he's played. And you look at the numbers coming in, didn't think he was going to be a big part of what was going on, but he certainly has been. So 6-4, back to a two-goal game. Ball's loose. Cheyenne Mountain doesn't realize it. Now a foot race to get it. And going back, Casey Rothstein, he was the one who had it, left it, and then had to go back and get it. He sends it ahead to Perry. Now back left side. This is Page with it. A whistle, a foul, and it's going to go back to the Cadets who will try to get it down the field. Pass comes to the middle. Ball's loose. They get it back, moving it forward. And pushed out of bounds. That was... Dylan Dumba, but a timeout, timeout called, a timeout by Air Academy with the score sitting at 6-4. We will take a break right along with them and have more 6-4s or score Air Academy leads on 20 TV. One part excellence, one part inspiration, one part preparation for outstanding Six four the score, four minutes and twelve seconds to go. Matt Bolly, Brian German left. We are in the second quarter, a quarter that uh, Air Academy has really started to take over. Although Cheyenne Mountain got back within two with their last goal, and what do you think was going on that uh, Ron Garcia decided to call that timeout? Well, I think his team may have gotten a little overconfident, feeling feeling their oats, so to speak, up three goals. And uh, I think he just wanted to just rebalance them, get him more focused on the offensive end, and as well as uh, packing it in defensively. With a two-goal lead, you got to feel good if you're Ron Garcia. So KDATs have it in their offensive zone. Passing out to the left side is work with it. 
Pass comes back behind the net and over the right side. Trying to veer towards the net and good defense by Cheyenne Mountain as Air Academy's Jake Thornley was not able to get the shot off. He went into a lot of traffic and he certainly paid for it. Cadets still have it though with it. This is Jansen. Jansen loses it. Cheyenne Mountain tries to uh, pick it up and it's the Indians who come up with it but a whistle and the Indians will keep possession of it as they get into play. Wide now open. an opening and a shot that was way too easy as Cheyenne Mountain's Sham Sheridan, one of their <laughs> captain scores, and Air Academy just didn't step up on him defensively. He's got 31. That was his 31st goal of the year, and you're right. Uh, Air Academy looked like they were didn't even realize who had the ball on that one. They just let Sheridan run right in the middle of the field, gets an easy shot, and his second goal of the game. 6-5 now. Air Academy's uh, once three-goal lead is down to one. And now Cheyenne Mountain has the momentum. Face off, won by the Cadets. And they're going to attack quickly. Pass comes back out to the right side. That's Thornley. Now back to the top. Dylan Dombaugh has it back over to the right side as Thornley will hold. Thornley passes to the top. Gets it right back on the wing right side. Pass comes back behind Miller. Miller likes to come back around the net, and then attack from the goal line. This day's got passed to work. Gets it right back to Miller. He's in that area that he likes. He still has it. He's looking to get a shot off. Gets pushed from behind, and his pass comes back out to the top. Scott has it for the Cadets. Scott passes back left side. Now here's Miller. Left side, Miller trying to get to the net. That's his move, and the ball comes loose. It's on the ground, being fought for, and Cheyenne Mountain comes up with it, and they're looking to push it very quickly down the field. Here comes Cheyenne Mountain. This is Reddish with it. Quickly ahead on the left side. Another possible opportunity for Sheridan. Uh -oh. And oh, now yeah, a whistle, <laughs> or excuse me, a flag up, and uh, we are certainly going to have a penalty. As Sheridan was just able to penetrate way too easily again. Yeah, Chapman Cox uh, decided to take matters into his own hands. This kind of took Sheridan down. Looked kind of like a tackle there, pretty much. And, uh, and it's going to be Chapman Cox in the penalty box. 2.23 to go here in the first half. It is Here's a good look five. at it there as Cox just came back and just kind of took Sh Sheridan down. Now we'll see if the Indians, what the Indians could do with a man-up situation. Yeah, and it's uh, they could very easily even this thing up. They want to be patient with it in the man-up situation and make sure that they get a good shot before possibly giving up the possession. Here comes a quick pass on the left side and being pushed back out. It comes all the way to the top. And Cheyenne Mountains Page had it, passes it over right side a little bit out of the uh, – reach of Pfeffer, and Pfeffer oh. falls going oh. for it. He was on a full sprint and uh, could not come up with it. you got to love that effort, though, by Pfeffer. you got to love it. Now what uh, Air Academy has to love is that they have possession of the ball, and they can just work this out until Cox gets back into this game. Yeah, they send it back just now came back in. to Mikey Smith, and Smith is going to send it ahead. Lights on here at uh, the K-Dome. I think they just recently turned on. I don't think they've been on the front the whole time, but I'm not totally sure. You're shaking your head no, Brian. So They're trying to light up the shadow area. Yes. That's what they do. They turn on lights. <laughs> Thank you for that profound statement. Sure. Indians have it. Pass comes back behind. Now they're going to work it right to the top. Backing up Rothstein. Passing to the middle. And pass was... Deflected and picked up by Mikey Smith, and here come the Cadets very quickly down the field. Getting cut off. This is Tarno. Tarno has it. Now sends it forward, and it's uh, loose at midfield, and Cheyenne Mountain has it. On the left side for Cheyenne Mountain, it's Sheridan. Sheridan trying to get around a defender. Now Sheridan's going to circle around, and another whistle and possibly another timeout called, I believe, or... Yeah, a minute four to go here in the first half. So evidently another timeout has been called. We will take the break as well. We're back in a moment right here. Shine Mountain takes the timeout. Back in a moment on 20 TV.
6-5 our score as Air Academy holding on to a lead against Cheyenne Mountain. We are 64 seconds away from halftime, and the Indians calling the timeout as they try to get something really set up to at the very least try to get this game tied up going into the half. This is Rostein coming around on the right side. He's nice. going to shoot. He's going to score. Casey Rostein, the captain, is able to come up with the goal, and that evens this thing up at six apiece. Two captains, two goals for each captain. Casey, Casey Rothstein there, just a brilliant shot behind Mikey Smith. I think Mikey was looking for the pass out front, kind of moved just enough for Rothstein to squeeze that ball in there. We get a tie ball game. And that's the tough thing about Rothstein. He comes into this game 23 goals, 20 assists. Uh, the, you, you don't know if he's going to shoot or pass at any given moment, and that makes him so much dangerous doing both things. The faceoff. Ball's on the ground. Nobody has it. Finally, Cheyenne Mountain comes and picks it up. They've got 47 seconds left as they would love to take the lead into halftime. Cheyenne Mountain has it. And it comes back up to Rostein. We'll see if Rostein, no, he's just going to pass it back over to the right side. Comes into Pfeffer. Now back behind. That's Sheridan with it. Sheridan passes back to Pfeffer. Pfeffer. Sheridan. And the shot from Sheridan left side, no good. Rebound is clear. Here comes Sheridan again. Another save made by Mikey Smith. Ball is still loose. It's right in front, and it comes high of the goal and back out of bounds. It should stay. No, it's going to go back to Air Academy. They blew a whistle before that final shot was made, so the Cadets will have it with 12 seconds left. Mikey Smith didn't know where the first rebound was, but retained his, regained his wisdom of the ball before the uh, second shot was able to stop that one as well. Air Academy has it, but in all likelihood we are going to, the clock isn't running. Clock isn't running. It's been stuck at 12 seconds for quite some time. Half should be over. And I think it is. The officials, of course, keep the actual time on the field. They're going to uh, meet here and see what's going on. More than 12 seconds passed. So this uh, – The officials are going to talk about it, though, Matt. Four seconds. Four seconds. They went, I believe they went four seconds on the clock. A lot more than uh, – There you go. Two seconds went by when the clock wasn't running. Either way, we're just about to halftime. That's just your affinity for that sort of thing. <laughs> what, what do you mean by that, Brian? No comment. Okay. <laughs> Ball's loose. Okay, let's have it. And we are officially at halftime, and we are even – at six apiece. Wow. It was a good first half. We'll talk about it a little bit in our halftime show. We'll do that next. 6-6 six, six, Air Academy and Cheyenne Mountain. We're back in a moment on 20 TV. One part excellent. One part inspiration. One part preparation. Or outstanding We are at the half at the K-Dome, Air Academy and Cheyenne Mountain, even at six apiece. Matt Pauley, Brian German back with you. And a very entertaining first half, as you can see from that 6-6 uh, six, six score. We've got some of the highlights uh, from the first half as well as Air Academy gets on the board early on with Austin Konath. Austin Konath with their first goal of the game. They, they came out, were down 2 to nothing, but then they came back to take a 6-3 to three lead. What a nice shot there by Luke LaGrasa as uh, he got just his seventh goal of the season on 12 shots on goal. But the Cheyenne Mountain comes back. A good job there by the defenseman, Parker Samuelson, taking it the length of the field and getting a goal. And then this is Keith, Casey Rothstein with his second goal of the first half that knotted this one up at six. It's been an exciting first half, and I expect nothing less out of the second half. If anybody would like to order a DVD copy of our broadcast, you can do so. Email us, 20TV at ASD20.org, or by giving us a call at 719-234-1780. We uh, also are on many different social media platforms. So many you can't count. Four. Facebook, oh, okay. uh, Twitter, YouTube, okay. And then does a website count as social media? I think you could count. Sure, why it's not? Under the social, it's on the social media page. It's so for, for us, yes, it is. You can find out all about us at ast20.org slash 20TV Sports. Matt Pauly, Brian German, our entire 20TV crew, they're drinking a 
hot chocolate right now. That looks good. Yeah, and you could see our photographer there in the background. Uh, that's Adam Parker in the lower right left-hand corner of a your screen. Adam, wave getting your hand. Ready, Come getting, on, say uh, hi. Oh, he's showing off the hot, hot chocolate. chocolate. Beautiful. Yep. 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 Good stuff right there. 6-6 six, six our score. We've got second half action next right here on 20 TV. Second half just about underway. 6-6 six, six is our score, and Air Academy is going to be taken out of the faceoff circle, and Cheyenne Mountain gets it to get things going here in the second half. Matt Polly, Brian German back with you. Thanks so much for being with us here on 20 TV. As Rostin with it for the Indians, trying to get around a defender. Quick spin move. Now pass comes over to the left side, and it's going to come back out towards six six the score and Mikey Smith will put it back into play for the cadets here it comes sends it all the way down and the ball's loose Cheyenne Mountain's got it and Looked like some of the KDET fans were not happy with the decision to send that all the way down. Know, it looked like a set play, though. Maybe Ron Garcia was setting something up. They had uh, Mitchell Miller down there close, and he almost got that ball. And now the KDETs do get it back, so eventually they come around to get it. KDETs with it. Now comes the left side. This is Work. Work passes it back to the goal line. Work gets it right back. We can left side to the top. KDETs have it. Being patient, pushed out. This is work with it some more. Work is looking to pass, and Miller is going to send it back over to the other side, and they may try the right side now. Nope, give it right back to Miller. We'll see if Miller attacks the net. Trying to come around. Good defense by Cheyenne Mountain. Pass comes back to work. Now they'll work it all the way to the top, and work gets it right back on the wing. Work's almost essentially like the point guard on the left side. Back over to Miller. Long pass that's going to go over the head of his intended recipient, Jake Thornley. Thornley gets it, though, and they'll try the right side. It comes back up to Cox. Now back over to the left side, and it's Scott with it. Scott tries to spin. He got one defender off him. I don't think he realized how far he had gotten him off him where he could have gotten into some open space. Now Scott sends it back over the goal line. It's Miller with it. Miller passes back behind and back over to Thornley. Thornley coming around looking for a oh, shot, wow. and he bounces it in, and the KDATs take the lead. What a shot by Jake Thornley. How in the world did he find that? Jake Thornley's 26th goal of this season. Look at him come around here and then just fire it left side. Wow, Robledo didn't even see that one coming. I don't think anybody thought besides Jake Thornley thought he was going to shoot that, and what a great job that was. 7-6 now, KDATs in the lead. So, Air Academy takes the lead for the second time today. Now the question is, can they hold on to the lead? Faceoff is oh so important. Cheyenne Mountain gets it and sending it quickly down. Good pass coming inside, but not able to hold on to it for Cheyenne Mountain. Sheridan, Sheridan would have had a great chance to uh, get a shot off ball. Still loose right in front of the goal, and it is going to be picked up by Air Academy as they're able to save it. The pass is a little bit too far. It comes out. It's still loose. Cheyenne Mountain trying to get it. Air Academy instead. That's work with it. Work had it for a moment. It's going to come over to the left side. It goes out of bounds and Cheyenne Mountain has it. That was a good decision by Rostin just to stand there and let that thing go out of bounds. Sends it ahead. This is Pfeffer with it. Pfeffer passes back to the top and Rostin. Now they work it over to the left side and out of the reach of Hunter Perry. I think the sun got in the eyes of Perry there as he was looking for the ball and kind of lost it. And Perry comes out now on the quick substitution by Cheyenne Mountain. Air Academy with it, trying to get across midfield and finally doing so. It's Scott. Scott looking to pass goes left side to Miller. Miller trying to get around one defender. 
Now passes to Work. Work has it. He wants to shoot oh, it. He wow. scores. He really kind of reared up to get that one in, and he gets the goal from the right side. Travis Work. The second goal for the junior attack man for the Cadets, and he just bounced that one from way out. It's like he's playing pool there. Just to <laughs> got a nice bounce out front. Robledo couldn't find it off the bounce, and it's second goal of the game for Work, and it's uh, two-goal lead now for the Cadets. You could see as he was kind of whirling that around, there was a decision process going on. Do I shoot or do I not? Obviously, he made the right decision. Certainly. So, Cadets back out on top by two, eight, six. If I'm Air Academy, I probably don't feel comfortable with the lead until getting to four. They got up to three once and felt like they were about a goal away from feeling comfortable. Cheyenne Mountain with there into their uh, offense. Here comes a pass on the inside. Ball's loose, and the Cadets get it. Air Academy has it, trying to get into their offensive zone. Ball is loose. It goes out of bounds, and it's going to go back to Cheyenne Mountain. And now a KDAT player goes down for Air Academy. That is Jared Kane, who looks to be a little bit banged up. Yeah, I don't know if he twisted his knee slightly a little bit, and you can see he's got a knee brace on his right knee there, and he is limping a little bit. I think when he was trying to figure out where the ball was after it had been knocked loose from his, his stick, uh, I think he twisted, might have twisted his leg there a little bit. So he's going to go out, and Keaton Daly is going to come back in. It's going to be Cheyenne Mountain with possession. This is Pfeffer on the sideline to send it in. The officials count. Make sure the correct number of players are on the field. Eight six. Pfeffer has it. Pfeffer passes. To the top, and Perry. Now Pfeffer gets it back, passes back behind into Sheridan. Sheridan with it. Sheridan passes back over, left side. This is Page. Page loses it. Good defense by the Cadets and Ben Self. Now it's loose, goes out of bounds. It's going to stay with Cheyenne Mountain. And this is Rothstein with it. Rothstein passes to the top, and Perry. Perry. Trying to get around defender. He does. Here comes the quick pass. Now back up to the top. That was Sheridan who had it for just a moment. Cheyenne Mountain keeps pedestrian. Nice pass Rostin all passes inside. It was intended for Page. Page would have had a point blank look if he would have been able to get that pass. Instead goes out of bounds. Cheyenne Mountain keeps it. This is Page. Page getting around defender. Trying to get a shot off. Could not do so. Good defense by the Cadets. And here comes Air Academy very quickly. Cadets have it as they try to get out of their defensive zone. This is Tarno with it. Tarno passes over to the left side and to Dodder. Dodder can't handle it. It goes out of bounds, and it stays with Cheyenne Mountain. That's a tough turnover right there because Air Academy could have had plenty of time, run some more time off the clock with a two-goal lead down at the other end, but they weren't able to get it out of their own zone. Indians have it. Pfeffer with it. Right side, up to the top. Not quite sure who that pass was intended for. It's loose, but the Cadets are going to keep control of it as this is Wild. Wild trying to get around a defender. He does. He's got a good look at the Whoa. goal, and <laughs> he tried to bounce it in there, and a good save made by Mikey Smith. Mikey Smith, once again, a long pass upfield. Thornley tries to grab it, keep it from going out of bounds, and he did so. Knocked it off the Indian player. What a good job by Thornley. Yeah, that really is a, a spectacular play as the Cadets are able to keep the offensive possession, and they'll bring it down the field. Air Academy with it. It's on the right side. Thornley back to the top. Now they work it over the left side. This is Cox. Cox holds. Back over the top and Scott. Scott with it. Scott passes back behind the net. Comes over to the other side. Quickly inside. The pass is going to be deflected. Yeah, ball's loose. Now here's a oh. quick shot. Another good idea. That was Cox. There was a little uneasiness. Never uh, People were out of position, so Cox went ahead and tried to throw it on goal, and it goes out of bounds. Cadets will keep it in their offensive zone. Air Academy with it. We see this a lot. Now they work it back up to the top, and this is Scott with it. Scott looking to pass. Goes back over to Cox. Cox is going to try to right the right side. Cadets lead by two. It is 8-6. Pass comes all the way back up to the top. Scott, Scott can't control. He picks it back up, and now he's going to try to get a defender off him as he comes around on the right side. Now back to the goal line. A quick pass over to the left side. It's intended for Miller. Miller's going to have to go pick it up. Miller can't control. It goes out of bounds, and Cheyenne Mountain will get it. Tough job there by Mitchell Miller. Thought he would have been. He had plenty of room in order to control it. I think uh, 
maybe trying to do it too easily. Air Academy's going to show a little bit of pressure. Cheyenne Mountain looks to bring it down, and here they come around midfield. Pass comes over to the left side. Now a Cheyenne Mountain player goes down. Ball is loose, and Air Academy's going to pick it up and try to go with it. Here come the Cadets, sending it forward and going down. That was Cox. And we can see tensions maybe starting to pick up just a little bit, and it looks like a timeout has been called. We have 518 to go in quarter number three. It is an 8-6 game. Air Academy leads back in a moment on 20 TV. One part excellence. One part inspiration. One part preparation. Or outstanding education. We've got five minutes and 18 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Air Academy leads by a couple. It is 8-6. Brian German alongside. I'm Matt Pauley, our entire 20 TV crew. Great to have you with us. Our final 20 TV broadcast here in this uh, Seasons academic went year. so fast. Seems yeah. like just yesterday we were doing football. It really does. And I think our first football game may have been here. It may have been. So we... Start and finish potentially in the same spot. Just seems right. Cadets have it for uh, as they work in their offensive zone out of the timeout. Pass comes across as this is Miller with it. Now back up top. Cox had it for a moment. Back right side to Scott. Cox gets it. Cox looking to pa pass. Cheyenne Mountain doing a good job of blocking those passing lanes. Pass comes out to the right side, and here's a quick shot. Oh, Ball is oh. loose right in front of wow. the goal line. It was Thornley who put it on net, and the keeper, Robledo, is able to just barely make the save. The ball was right on the line. It was so close from going in. 8-6 the score. Possession continues to be fought for right there at midfield. Cheyenne Mountain had it for a second. Now it comes back out to Air Academy. Oh. Here they come. A breakaway uh. opportunity. Here's Miller. The oh. shot, and he misses wide left. Oh, my goodness. The, the Probably the best offensive attacker for Air Academy. And Miller, who has 33 goals coming in, misses the point-blank shot. That was a tough one. Thornley couldn't get his feet under him and couldn't get the ball, and then Miller finally got it. Just a few seconds, just rushed it a little too much and missed the shot. Miller's got it again. He's going to want to get that one back, I'll tell you that. Pass comes over to the right side as this is Cox with it. Now it comes back out. Here's a quick shot from the right side. That was from Edward McGuire, a sophomore. And his shot goes wide left. Nice to see McGuire in there getting some playing time for the Cadets. Okay, that's really keeping possession of this ball. This is probably why Ron Garcia called the timeout. He probably doesn't want him to shoot unless they feel like they absolutely have a, a really good opportunity to score a goal. Pass comes up to the top. Possible shot. There it is. Good save made by Robledo as it was August Scott on the opportunity. And Robledo is going to send it past midfield. And the Cadets are going to have an opportunity to pick this thing up. They do. And now they're going to work to get into their offensive zone once again. Pass comes over to the right side as Air Academy tries to push it forward. That's been Self. Self passes it back towards midfield, up towards Keaton Daly. Uh, he couldn't get it, but it ends up with Work. Work attacking. Pass comes oh. to the middle as Thornley tries to get it. Now a flag is thrown. Flag. Two flags are thrown. Each official saw that, uh, that foul, and I think they're going to get a man pushing Thornley down. As I expect that to go against Cheyenne Mountain. Yeah, both officials looking at each other, making sure they get the number correct. And I think they're going to call Mitch Reddish again his second penalty of the game. So Reddish is walking off. And yeah, Reddish will kneel down. Reddish came into this game with 12 penalties. He's got two more. He's got 14. He leads the Indians in penalties this year. He's served like 37 minutes so far this season. 
Pass the right side. So now Kadet's in a man-up situation. They're really going to want to score a goal. Here's the shot from the right side, and that's a goal for Thornley. Jake Thornley puts it home again, his second goal of the day, 27th on the season, and he just did a great job. He he almost scored a moment ago in a, in a crazy situation, but he finally get this one to go. And uh, that three-goal lead that the Cadets had early in the uh, second quarter, they have it here late in the third quarter. They lead right now by a score of 9-6, to 2.43 left. A timeout called. We're back in a moment on 20 TV. Three goal lead for Air Academy. It's 9 6. We have two minutes and 43 seconds to go in the third quarter. If Air Academy, I said this earlier when they were up by three, I felt like that next goal was the big one. They don't get the next goal. Cheyenne Mountain comes back and ties it. If you're the K Dets, you're really going to be looking to take that four goal lead. So, what you're saying is whoever gets the next goal, it's a big goal? Yes, okay. I would certainly say that. And okay. Cheyenne Mountain with the offensive possession after Whoa. they called the timeout. Shot from the ground from Sheridan. I don't know how he got that thing off. And uh, the ball comes loose. A stick goes flying as Air Academy's Bill, uh, Ben Self, I almost called him Bill Self, as couldn't hold it out. Quick pass inside. Oh. The shot misses from the right side as Mitch Page can barely believe that he did not get that thing off on net. 9-6. Cheyenne Mountain's got some extra energy out of that timeout. Now, on the left side, Cheyenne Mountain's Sheridan tried to do sign now a flag. flag, and we'll see. That's got to go against uh, the Cadets, I think, and I think it's going to go against Self. Ben Self looks to be coming off the field. Yep. For Self, that is his... Third penalty this season. He has served a minute and a half. Nobody for Air Academy. Actually, check that. Travis Workus served 39 minutes of penalties this year. He is the only player to have spent more than three minutes out of the game due to penalty. Cheyenne Mountain with it. Man up situation. Wild has it now back over the left side. Trying to get around a Move. quick shot. It goes wide right. And it goes out of bounds. And... Mikey Smith came out of goal and sprinted towards that to be the closest one to it. Good Heads up job. move by Smith. And Kadets have it man down. That's a dicey pass in a man down situation because you want to possess but ends up working out. No, a whistle. Another flag is down. And I think they might be calling something on Mikey Smith. They're bringing Mikey oh Smith out. Oh, my gosh. So... Logan Jepson will probably be the one to come in, or Noah Gilstorf. Those are the other goalies listed. And trying to catch the number on the individual coming in. 23. 23. That is Tristan Pelto, who is not listed as a goalie. It's Nicholas Jones. Oh, excuse me. You would be correct. It's the junior Sorry. Nicholas Jones. Junior Nicholas Jones. Yes, who is indeed listed, listed as, as, as a goalie. goalie. Yeah, yes. he'll get uh, perfunctory time here to warm up. I did not see what was called on Mikey Smith, but I think that's a big loss for the Cadets if Mikey Smith isn't in there. He's been he's made some huge saves for the Cadets today. This is a, a tough situation for a goalie to come in in this in this situation. Yeah, it's a good shot of Jones warming up. We'll see how good, uh, see how much time he gets. We'll see Mikey Smith here. Let's see, we got a replay coming up. Mikey Smith throws it, and he may have, may have warded off. They may have called him for warded off, or he had an illegal body check, possibly. We can't really see from the video there, but obviously there was a penalty called, and Mikey Smith is out. Nicholas Jones is in, and uh, for the junior, 
This is a big-time opportunity for him. Yeah, and it's a two-man-up situation for Cheyenne Mountain. A minute 29 to go. Clock is not – well, clock is going to start running again. I beg your pardon. As Cheyenne Mountain has a two-man-up. Here's the shot Whoa. from the top. It's a shot, and it is a goal. Man, did Page ever have something on that one? Mitch Page, 23rd goal of the season. That was uh, – I think that's only like his second or third shot on goal today. And what a shot. Just a laser from the front. Gets it by Jones, and you know they're going to go after Jones, who has not played a lot this season in goal. And now uh, Air Academy will get Mikey Smith back in goal after that goal. It was a good opportunity for Mikey to get over there and put some sweatpants on. He, well, he was cold, so nine, he wanted to put some sweatpants on. 9-7. 30-second little warding off penalty. <laughs> Cheyenne Mountain has it as they're down two goals trying to come back from a three-goal deficit for the second time today on the right side. This is Pfeffer with it. Pfeffer trying to get around. He does so left side. Now going towards the net. Rostein, and there is wow. another shot and another goal for Mitch Page. I said he didn't have many shots on goal yet today. He had 53 shots on goal coming in, and the last two that he's thrown have gone in. He's beaten two tenders now today. He beat Jones, and now he beats Mikey Smith. And look out, here come the Indians. It's a one-goal game. 9-8, 56 seconds left. And this, the storyline of this game is Air Academy gets up, Cheyenne Mountain comes up. Air Academy gets up, Cheyenne Mountain comes back. And again, Air Academy could not get beyond that three-goal lead. They could not push it to four, and we knew with that Cheyenne Mountain would stay right in there. What the, you're telling me was that was a big goal by yes. Mitch, pa Mitch Page. Yeah, both of them were. Sheridan <laughs> has it for the Indians on the right side trying to get around. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the next goal is going to be a big goal. I would I would certainly agree with that. Okay. And it's the Indians who have it right now with 29 seconds left, so they're going to kind of play for that one shot, you would think. The pass comes back over to the right side. This is Case now back right side. The pass intended. Page tried to pass underneath to Sheridan. It goes out of bounds, and the Cadets are going to get it back. Clock is stopped at 17 seconds. They'll get it back in play. There goes the clock, and the Cadets have just a little bit of time to send it down the field. We'll see if they can get much on it for the Cadets. This is Dodder with it. Dodder sends it down ahead to Jansen. Jansen with it. We've got five seconds left. Here's a quick shot wow. and a goal from the right Jake side. Thornley. Thornley comes up with the shot with two seconds left, and Air Academy is back on top by two. It's 10 8. That is a hat trick for Jake Thornley. He knew. He saw the clock. He saw it. His daughter was throwing it up the field. Gets a nice pass and just throws it home. And that's another two-goal lead for the Cadets. Two seconds left. Talk about clutch. What was it, 14 seconds left when they put it back in play? And they're able to get it all the way down the field in a short amount of time. I believe daughter passed it just across the midfield line with seven seconds. Whew. Here's the faceoff, and the ball's loose. And we are through three quarters. Cadets lead. It is 10-8. We've got one more quarter to go, and we've got that coming your way next here on 20 TV. One part excellent. One part inspiration. One part preparation. One part outstanding We get set for the fourth quarter. It's 10-8. Air Academy leads Cheyenne Mountain. And Brian, take us through how this final goal happened. Just what a great job here by Daughter getting it ahead. There was 12 seconds left when Air Academy moved it forward. They get the ball to Don, uh, Thornley, and he scores. He got that ball in his net with just four seconds left, but he knew that's how much time he had. What That was a huge goal for the Cadets. Momentum seriously on their side there. And they're 10-8 as we start the fourth quarter. Even more impressive, they were going away from the scoreboard so they couldn't look up and see the time. Amazing. Good stuff by the Cadets. They lead by two. We'll see what they can do as Cheyenne Mountain wins the faceoff, and it's uh, Rosting coming down, puts up a shot high, and it goes out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Indians as they attack in the other direction. 
This is Sheridan with it. On the left side, Sheridan tries to get around. Now he passes it back up to the top. Perry with it. Perry passes back over to Sheridan. Now up to the top, Rostein. Rostein Ooh. tries to shoot. It goes wide left again, and Page was there, so Giant Mountain will keep possession of it. 10-8. Air Academy leads on their home field here at the K-Dome. The winner of this game takes over Seoul place of second place sole position of second place in the league important matchup from the left side spin move a good uh, a good try by sheridan but he did not get enough on top of that shot as it goes up high but Cheyenne mountain continues to have possession of it this is page page getting around could not possess now sheridan gets back now it's on the ground F a foot race for it Cadets had it, a, wow. a collision right there at the sideline, and it is going to go back to the Cadets. There is some physical play going on right there. Casey Rothstein came over and uh, pretty much slammed into the Cadet player trying to get possession of the ball, but uh, to nonetheless it went out of bounds, and now he steals it. Yeah, Rothstein's got it left side. He's looking to pass, and he does so. Now Rothstein will get it right back. Rothstein passes back up to the top. This is Perry. Comes out towards midfield. Case with it. Case. Passes. Right side. That was Pfeffer. Now back behind to Sheridan. Sheridan has an angle to go right. and the shot and the goal. Sam Sheridan becomes the first Indian to get the hat trick. It's Thornley joining Thornley for both of these teams. And what a great job here as he forces the defender daughter to think he's going to go to the left, comes back to the right and beats Mikey Smith for the goal. It is a one-goal game. What a great game this is. This really has been. The roll dodge works as he goes to the net. The old roll dodge. 10-34 left. Back to a one-goal game at 10-9. And, Brian, I think the next goal is important. Yeah, I'll bet the next goal is going to be a big one. <laughs> Every goal in this contest pretty oh. big. Quick pass over to the left side. and It was a little bit out of the reach. Now it's still loose out in front. And the goaltender, Robledo, is able to come get that and gets it back into play for Cheyenne Mountain. Quick pass comes ahead, leading Sheridan. Sheridan's going to go pick it up. That's not a bad idea with him. Sheridan has good speed. Now he's going to try to get around. He tries that spin move wow. again. Pushed to the ground. He's unable to get the shot off. Now from the left side, that was Case trying to bounce it in. Could not do so. And again, we see the goalie, Mikey Smith, come out and run and be the first one to that end line to try to be uh, the person to represent uh, who's going to be able to get that ball back. That's a Mikey Smith, very active in goal. I like the way he does that. Ball's loose. Cheyenne Mountain has it. Pass comes ahead as this is Page. Now Page loses it. Fight for possession right on the sideline. I, I didn't think that thing ever went out. No, they're going to call a, a foul, and they're going to give it Just back to the uh, Cadets. Yeah, the refs felt that uh, Sheridan had a push on that one on self, so the Cadets will get the ball back. Cadets have it. Cox with it. Gets around a couple defenders and continues down the left sideline. Now the pass comes back behind. That's Miller with it. We haven't called his name much in the second half. The pass comes back up to Scott. Now it's Jansen. Jansen passes left side to Cox. Cox has it back over to Jansen. Jansen bounces it over to Thornley. He's the name we've been calling a lot here in the second half. Thornley with a hat trick already. Pass comes back behind to Miller. Miller sends it back out, and Cadets are certainly taking their time. This is Scott with it. Clock is running at 840. Scott passes back right side. Now they get to Thornley. Thornley nice centering pass, pass uh, and the uh, Conath could not get do much with it. But the Cadets are able to keep possession of it. Now here's Thornley again. Thornley trying to circle around. He's going to back up. He's on the in line or on the uh, goal line. I beg your pardon. To the top once again. This is Jansen. Jansen backs it up. Now quick shot comes in. That was from Scott. 
and the save made by Robledo, and Cheyenne Mountain gets it back. Cheyenne Mountain's going to start moving. That was a good job of taking some time off the clock by the Cadets, though, and uh, you can see a sense of urgency here by Cheyenne oh, Mountain. Here comes quick, Sheridan. Yeah, here comes a quick pass. Sheridan has it going to the net. He shoots and he scores. Fourth goal for Sam Sheridan, the captain for this Cheyenne Mountain Indian team, and they found him cutting wide open by himself, got behind the defense a little bit, and uh, just an easy job there beating Mikey Smith to the basket. If, if you're uh, if you're the Cadets, you can't let him that loose, and it was uh, Dotter who was the closest player for uh, for Air Academy. you got to mark him at all times, giving him uh, – He's going to score on most breakaways. So now we're under just under eight minutes, and we are tied at ten. That was a big goal. Or as Matt Polly might say, 101 to zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not very nice. <laughs> ten, ten, right. our score, seven minutes, 52 seconds to go. Whoa. The uh, shot goes way high as Air Academy has – Give Cheyenne Mountain a ton of credit. They've come back from three goal deficits twice in this contest. Done a really great job. This is Thornley with it. But I'm really impressed with Air Academy as well. Each time they've jumped out, they've, they've, they've answered these, these challenges by Cheyenne Mountain. Every time Cheyenne has tied it up, they've come back. Indians force the turnover, and they have it. Moving into their offensive zone, it is sent ahead. As Page with it, Page loses it. It's on the ground, being fought for. Cadets get it. Here comes Air Academy's McGuire. McGuire tries to get around one nice defender. Move. He just rolls him <laughs> over. Now he's looking to oh. shoot. Doesn't get quite enough on it. It's going to go out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Cadets. Miller was right there. If he would have been able to get that, he might have been able to put that thing back in. I just like the job by Ed McGuire, just bowling over the Indian and heading towards the net. Oh, the only thing that would have been great is if he had scored that goal. We've got 6.53 to go. Air Academy with it at the top. This is Cox. Now a pass comes over to the right side, comes to the back. It's Miller with it. He doesn't look as much like he's looking to score as he sends it back out to Scott. Now right side, it's Cox. Cox sends it down to Thornley. Thornley tries to get around a defender being pushed from behind. He's got a pass out to the middle. Here's a shot wide left and an attempt from McGuire. If McGuire puts that one on goal, he's got a pretty good chance of scoring. He was in good position. Well, he had a sports center highlight if he scored after he bowled the guy over. 6.25 to go. We are even at 10 apiece. What a contest we have seen today. This has been a lot of fun. Thornley passes back out to Cox. Now over to the left side. They get it down low to Miller. Miller trying to circle around, trying to find a shot. Finally he throws it in, and that's not going to – be on goal. It goes out of bounds, and it's going to stay with the Cadets as Thornley will put it back into play. That's what I like about high school lacrosse. They have the balls on the end line there, and that's now a rule. Now a turnover. Cheyenne Mountain has it. Big defensive possession for Air Academy as once again we see Sheridan bringing it down. Sheridan holds. I'd like to see him step up on Sheridan a little bit. Don't let him be too comfortable. Yeah, every time he has scored, he's been virtually wide open in the center of the, the field. So Sheridan walks it up, avoids a couple defenders, now passes over to the right side. That's Pfeffer. Pfeffer has it at the top. Still holding. Now he's going to pass back over to the left side, and it's Sheridan once more. Sheridan steps out. Both teams going to be very patient because – we're getting down to the point of the game where the next goal could possibly win it. Page going to the goal. He loses the ball. The ball's Good loose. Job. Air Academy comes up with it. Good Here job. come the Cadets. Ben Seth actually knocked that ball away from behind. Oh, uh, my oh. goodness. I don't know about that. Is No call there. Yep, Rosting pushed down Scott, and then Cheyenne Mountain gets it back. These officials have let these two teams play. Now here's an opportunity at the top. The shot it is going to be saved by Smith. Might have been deflected on the way in. Cadets get it back. Here comes Air Academy with it. This is Dotter trying to avoid a couple defenders. Getting back towards midfield. Now he's going to pass over to the left side. That pass goes to Cox. Cox gets across midfield with it, and the Cadets get in their offensive zone. Oh. With it, left side ball. Ball is loose. Ball's on the ground. A foot race for it, 
and it's still loose. Cheyenne Mountain's going to come with it down at the end line. That was Samuelson who came up with it. Ball's loose again. Samuelson has it to pick up. Excuse me, that's actually going to be Reddish who picks it up. Either way, sending it down. Cheyenne Mountain gets back into their offensive set very quickly. Case sending in a quick pass right inside. There's a shot. There's a goal. Mitch Page comes up with it from the right side, and Cheyenne Mountain has come back from two three-goal deficits to take an 11-10 lead with four minutes and four seconds left. Just a nice job running the field there. Kai Chase gets it over to Mitch Page for his third goal of the game, and that, my friends, was a big goal. One, a one-goal lead now for Cheyenne, and this is their first lead since two to nothing early in the first quarter. And now this face-off is very important because if Cheyenne Mountain is to win this face-off, they'll be in a position where they can really try to just run some clock. Run some but clock, the but the officials looking are looking at a stick, at a stick here. They're looking at Mitch Page's stick. They're going to bring it over, and they will measure it. If that stick is illegal, and It'll he just – man down. Yeah. You know what? If that stick's illegal, though, it might have been worth it the way Page scored that go-ahead goal. Let's see. Nope, it's fine. You can call for sticks to be to be looked at after a goal, and that's exactly what Ron Garcia was doing. I mean, you might as well take a shot, right? Four minutes right. left, and they just took a one-goal lead. Let's take a shot. Let's just check the stick real quick. Page just kind of lifted up his hands in frustration, like, what's going on here? Quick stick check. I like that. Thanks. The QSC. Four minutes to go. And face-off sent into the Air Academy oh, zone. Now and now push from behind. Yeah. There Air Academy go. should keep possession of it. They're not going to call No penalty, penalty call, but Mitch Reddish totally cross-checking yeah. the back there and no call. I am really surprised there wasn't a whistle on that. Well, there was a whistle, but not a flag. So Air Academy will keep possession. Quick substitution. There's a lot of energy coming off that Cheyenne Mountain bench right now. I don't think they're just cold. Maybe they are. They're jumping up and down over there. <laughs> 3.52 left. We'll see if Air Academy can tie this thing up. They're down 11-10. They're in their offensive zone. Pass comes over to the right side. Thornley has had a big game. Now back up to the top and Cox. They work it over to the left side. Gets down to the corner. Now underneath, this is Miller. Miller trying to get around. He's going to try to find a shot. No, he's going to go left side. They're going to work it back up to the top. And Scott, Scott being defended well. He's got to pass it off. He does so to Cox. Cox very quickly. Right side. Here it comes over to Thornley. Thornley can't handle. He gets it back. Spin move. Oh, shot and man. a save made by Robledo. It's going to go out of bounds, and it is going to stay with Eric Adams. That was a great opportunity for Thornley there. He's already got a hat trick. He was looking for number four and tie this thing up. Just wasn't to be that time. Three minutes, 13 seconds left in regulation. Air Academy is down a goal, and they've got possession of it. Passing over to the right side. Here's a shot. It was blocked. Cheyenne Mountain's Cl Riley Clinton with the block. Fight for possession. It's going to stay with Air Academy. Clinton actually had that, and uh, a good job knocking the ball away by Chapman Cox, who got it back for the Cadets. Under three minutes now. 11-10, left side. Here's the shot. Save made by Robledo. It, it might have been wide left anyways from Miller. And now Cheyenne Mountain with it. Cadet's going to have to really try to get that ball back and force the turnover as Cheyenne Mountain looks to get in their offensive zone. If they get in their offensive zone, it's going to be really tough for Air Academy to come back. And a timeout has been called. Timeout, 11-10. Cheyenne Mountain leads Air Academy. We're back for the final two minutes and 30 seconds next here on 20 TV. Cheyenne Mountain leads by one goal. It is 11-10. Matt Pauley, Brian German, our entire 20 TV crew, as Air Academy's got to score a goal if they want at the very least 
force overtime. They have led by three goals on two separate occasions, and Cheyenne Mountain has come back each time. Out of the timeout, Cheyenne Mountain has possession of it. The pass comes too far. Opportunity for Air Academy to gain possession. We'll see if they can do it. Ball is still loose. Moving towards the end line. Three players all hit the deck, and the referee blows a whistle, and it goes back to Air Academy with two minutes and 14 seconds left. Here come the Cadets. Down a goal. They're going to send it back over to the keeper, Smith, and Smith is going to throw it into play. Clock's ticking. they got to hurry. Here comes the long pass. It comes all the way out towards Jansen. Jansen can't uh, handle it, though, and Cheyenne Mountain gets it back. Pass too far ahead. It's going to go out of bounds, but it should. No, it's going to, on the call, they're going to give it back to Air Academy. Good job. Just probably trying to push it too quickly there for Cheyenne. You've got possession. Why not just keep it for a little bit? Don't worry about scoring another goal. You're ahead. And that was a close one there as it almost went in on Mikey Smith from his own pass. So the Cadets have it. A minute 43 left. Pass comes right out in front of the net. And it's going to come out towards the end line for Air Academy. Picked up. And they possess it. Now it's loose, and Cheyenne Mountain gets it Ooh. back. Thornley just ran over a Cheyenne Mountain player. No call on that. And now a timeout called by Air Academy with one minute and 26 seconds left in regulation. So we will once again take the break as well. It is 11-10, Cheyenne Mountain back in a moment on 20 TV. One part excellent, one part inspiration, one part preparation for outstanding education. Academy School District 20, where dreams take Minute 26 to go. It's 11-10. Cheyenne Mountain leads. Fans on their feet here at the K-Dome. I don't know if it's because they're cold or if they're just trying to cheer on the Cadets. Some of them are still in their seats. Cadets with the ball now, 126 left, and I'm sure Ron Garcia called that timeout to set something up, and we'll see. Thornley trying to get Mitchell Miller moving in this one, but every time Mitchell Miller gets the ball, he's hounded by the Indians. It'll be interesting to see what they try and do to get a goal here. So a minute 26, 86 seconds left. Good man. And Air Academy has it looking to tie and force overtime. Pass comes out to McGuire. Now Cox has it. Pass left side. Here's a shot attempt, and Cheyenne Mountain blocks it and gets it. Cheyenne Mountain has possession of it, and they're going to try to get into their offensive zone. 65 seconds left. Sending it very quickly down the field. Ball's loose. Ball's loose. See who can come up with it. It is the Cadets. This is Pfeffer. Excuse me, it's the Indians, and this is Pfeffer. Pfeffer is taken down to the ground, and a st another stalling call, and they're going to give it back to Air Academy. That's two stalling calls in the last few moments. Crazy. Oh, Mikey Smith just lost the ball. And Cheyenne Mountain gets it back with 42 seconds left. Now Cadets get it one more time. Quick long pass. We saw them score late in the third quarter. Ball oh. is loose. It's still loose. And Cheyenne Mountain picks it up again. This is Reddish with it. Now ahead. It goes to Page. Page has it. Page is going to send it back behind the net to Sheridan. Sheridan holds. 20 seconds left. Cadets need to force a turnover in about the next five seconds or they're going to be in trouble. The Mikey Smith came out of net yeah. to mug Sheridan on that one. Ball is loose, but there's nine seconds left, and this is going to be about all she wrote as Pfeffer has it. Pfeffer continues to possess. He comes across a little bit of a shove from the backside, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. Final score, 11-10. Talk about the agony of defeat. There's the uh, there's the happiness of winning. But you look down on the field right now, and Mikey Smith is just on the ground in front of the net. Air Academy so close to beating Cheyenne Mikey Mountain. Mikey Smith probably being a little too hard on himself right now because that, that
that late pass, late in the game, he couldn't get the ball out of his net. It came out and went right back to Cheyenne Mountain with about 35 seconds left. The Indians were able to run the clock out. That's why Mikey's feeling bad, but he should not hold his head down. He had a marvelous game, as, is, as did the rest of the, the uh, Cadets. Cheyenne Mountain comes in here as the 17th-ranked team in the state. The Cadets had the lead for most of this game, and I know they got to feel like they blew this one, but i got to take my hat off to them as well because they played a really great game. Do want to remind you, if you'd like to order a DVD copy of this broadcast today, there are multiple ways for you to do so. When I say multiple, I mean two. You can email us, 20TV, at ASD20.org, or you can give us a call at 719-234-1780. Also, if you want to uh, connect with us on social media, you see our Facebook page on Twitter, at D20TV. You want to see the highlights from this one? Want to watch this thing over again? You can go to our YouTube page at uh, youtube.com slash 20TV Sports, or go to our website as well at ASD20.org slash 20TV Sports. Brian, uh, this is going to wrap up our, our broadcast schedule for the 2013-2014 a- academic year. It has been a great year, and what a way to finish it off. It certainly was. Uh, you couldn't ask for a better game. Close game, although we'd like to see the District 20 team win it. Uh, but what a great game. All the way throughout this game, it was close. Both of these teams played really hard. And uh, hats off to this whole uh, 20 TV crew. And uh, Corey Morlock, and Rob Parrish, Adam Drake. Adam Parker, Dave Toller on the cameras tonight. Uh, just a great job working with these guys all season. It's been a pleasure working with you as well, Matt. You know, and I want to give a special thank you to uh, Dr. Mark Hatchell, Superintendent of District 20, as uh, he is a big supporter of what we do here at uh, 20 TV. And without uh, without Dr. Hatchell, we would not be uh, doing this. We just about doubled our uh, sports uh, sport uh, sporting event broadcast uh, this uh, year, and uh, we appreciate the support of Dr. Hatchell and the entire uh, District 20 administration for uh, what they allow us to do and uh, bring you all these great events. So that is going to do it. Once again, the final score, Cheyenne Mountain gets the win over Air Academy. Final score, 11-10. We'll talk to you in the fall for football and volleyball and boys soccer right here on 20TV. 